Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. I'm just putting a backrest on my bushcraft bench here in my campsite. And uh, over the past five years, I've had a lot of bloopers and outtakes and other muskrat misadventures on my channel. And I just wanted to share some of them with you today. So pull up a stump, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and enjoy these following clips. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tramp down all the snow that's going to be inside the shelter just so I can put my bivy sack on the ground. And finally, a fourth type of filter is a clean sock. Just put that right in your cup, stretch the neck of the sock around the edge of your cup. Put your ingredients in there, pouring boiling water, and you're all done. And we'll see what that tastes like. Well, it definitely tastes like sock. <laughs> I mean, it definitely tastes like spruce. I put together my own little formula here. You can spray yourself like that. And within minutes, you become invisible to mosquitoes. See, it's starting to work already. There's a mental aspect to long-term survival. Now, Alan said, what did he say? The Alone Show demonstrated the reality of bugging out in the forest when the shit hits a fan. Can't say shit. I'm just down by the river and I want to demo this new stove I got from who the hell did I get it from? Banggood. Bang no. Your best. Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And I'm just down by the river and I want to just demo this new stove that I got from GearBest.com in China. I know I packed some chaga here. Just have to find it. Ah, there it is. A few chunks of chaga. Char cloth made from denim is a lot thicker than the char cloth that's made from neckerchiefs. Okay, so that's going to take a bit of time, and uh, so what we'll do is we'll let that burn, char that cloth, and then we'll come back to it. So you can see the smoke and gas is coming out of that hole. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, I wasn't expecting the lid to pop open like that, so I put a weight on the lid to keep it closed. Oh, hey there, YouTubers. Muskrat Jim here. And today, we're going to cook up... What are we going to cook up? Today, we're going to cook up some chicken in... What the hell am I talking about? getting close to six o'clock now. Let's go find a half decent spot to put you... 
Let's go find a half decent spot to pitch a tent. So today I'm out again throwing the boomerang. Well folks, that's my boomerang. It's hit one too many trees. Well, mosquitoes are starting to get bad now. I don't know if this thing's working or not. Oh well. The poulette part, which is chicken, is assumed. So they just call it frico. There's a mosquito right on my lens there. <laughs> there. That took care of him. Well, it was great. I should have used green fork branches instead of dead fork branches. Because it just snapped the end off the uh, fork branch. I usually put a little bit of milk in my coffee. <clears throat> to try to get off this molly. I just wanted to make a quick little video talk about this steel that a friend of mine in Nova Scotia made for me. So I'm going to try it out today. I've got some char cloth here and it's being held in place with a little piece of uh, duct tape. Well that worked well didn't it? You really have to wait until after a couple of frosts to um, to freeze the berries and then they they ripen up a little bit better that way. But they're still quite tart, you know, something like a cranberry. They're edible. Um, they're better when they're cooked rather than raw. So anyway, you can... Um, Stew them up a little bit and make them into like a jam or, so, or something like that. <clears throat> really sour. <laughs> As you've seen, things don't always go to plan. But 
it all works out in the end. So until next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.